Today, we are going to be making a secret Kinder Bueno recipe my grandfather told me. It was quite trendy 50 years ago, so I'm hoping my remake will live up to the expectations. As you can see, I tried it and I can tell you it's an absolute stunner. Let's start off by pouring cold tap water in eight hemisphere shaped silicon molds. Be really careful with that step. You can easily go wrong and it is the most complicated in the whole recipe. We will be putting the silicon molds in the freezer for two hours until the water completely freezes. Did you know silicone or polydiphenyl siloxane? As known as silicone molds were invented in 1901? You didn't, did you? Next, we will be preparing the buttercream. We will add 250 grams room temperature unsalted butter to a mixing bowl. I'm using my grandfather authentic KitchenAid mixer. As you can see, it's in quite good condition. Let the mixer beat the butter for eight minutes until creamy consistency. Once nice and smooth, add 200 ml cold condensed milk to the cream and mix for another three minutes. In the meantime, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment. The first 20 people who like and comment will be included in my 100 pound Easter Amazon gift voucher giveaway. Next, get 100 grams Cadbury white chocolate buttons, put them in a bowl, and melt them for two minutes in the microwave. As we all know, American version of Cadbury chocolate is made by the Hershey Company and tastes like chalk and cheese, so stick with the British version for best results. Interesting fact, first microwave oven in mass production was made by Raytheon in 1946. So obviously this is how people used to melt chocolate back in the days. Pour the melted chocolate in the bowl slowly and mix for another two minutes until fully incorporated. Buttercream has been in charge of the 20th century baking revolution. So I'm giving it my dues and I have chosen it for this video version of the recipe. Buttercream has many varieties that can be used for different purposes. The filling we are preparing is called Russian buttercream. The key for making it well is beating the heck out of the butter. Another key trick is adding the condensed milk gradually to prevent the frosting from breaking. This recipe can be made with cheesecake filling or other type of buttercream, which I will demonstrate in another video later on. The quantity we made is sufficient for four portions, so we need to split the buttercream in four equal parts. I will use the rest of the cream in other videos in the future. You can safely keep it in the fridge. It will not go bad for about one month. Next, let's upgrade that bad boy. Start off by crushing two Kinder Bueno bars to pieces. Best, don't even open the pack. Crush them well. Crush them really well. I think I'm having too much fun with that. Add the crumbs in the buttercream and mix well until well incorporated. Now it's time to move the buttercream mix to a piping bag. Not much to say here. Just fill the piping bag with your buttercream, that's all. If you've gotten this far and you didn't like and subscribe, let this be your final warning. Okay, once the bag is filled up, we need to melt 100 grams milk chocolate in the microwave again. We shouldn't forget to add one teaspoon cooking oil in order to make the cups more shiny and easier to work with. Now let's use those ice hemispheres, shall we? Take the ice and place it on a cooling rack. Pour the melted chocolate on top of the ice and let it rest for about one minute. That will be quite enough for the chocolate cup to form and solidify. Remove the ice from the chocolate and use the cup as a base in order to assemble the dessert Place the chocolate cups upside down. Fill half of the cup with buttercream. Put whole Kinder Bueno bar on the buttercream and press it tightly. It's up to you really if you wanna put less Bueno filling, go for it. Fill the rest of the chocolate cup with buttercream and use tablespoon to spread the cream well. Finally, decorate with another Kinder Bueno bar. 
split it into two and stuck it on top. You can spend some time to enjoy your masterpiece. No need to rush. Finally, using a hot knife, cut the cup in half. It should be going smoothly like a hot knife through butter. You see what I did there? Anyway, back to the point. Don't forget to like, subscribe, visit Flower Bay website. But most importantly, never skip breakfast.